Hey, welcome back. Today I will be explaining the union operator. The union operator combines the results of two or more select statements. I have created two additional tables. I'm only going to be using them temporarily. I'll delete them once we're done with this example. I have a table of income. We have two columns, an income name and an amount. I just made up some numbers. They're probably not realistic. I also have a table of expenses. Here's my table of expenses. We have an expense name and some amount. Again, I just made up some numbers. Suppose that our boss wants us to print a list of all of our different income versus expenses all in one window. Well, we can easily do that with the union operator. After our first select statement, delete the semicolon, add union. We now have a window with the results of these two select statements. We have income and expenses. Let's perform a similar operation with our employees and customers table. I'm going to drop these tables though. They were only temporary. Drop table income. Drop table expenses. Let's begin. Mr. Krabs, our boss, he wants us to create a list of everybody that enters the store, all employees and all customers. Well, we can join together those select statements with the union operator. But first, let's take a look at each of these tables. Select all from employees. We're going to have one problem. Our employees table has six columns, whereas our customers table, our customers table has three columns. If you're combining two different select statements that have a different amount of columns, a union isn't going to work. We have a problem. The used select statements have a different number of columns. In order to join two select statements together, they need the same number of columns. My employees table has six columns. My customers table has three. Well, we could select distinct columns. All I need is the first name and the last name of each of these tables. First name, last name. And look at that, that works. We have now created a list of all of the different people that enter our store, both employees and customers. There is a different variation of the union operator that is union all. That would include any duplicates if more than one value is found within each table. Just temporarily, I'm going to insert plankton into our customers table. Insert into customers some values. Customer ID 5, first name Sheldon, last name Plankton. Select all from customers. Plankton is both in our customers table and our employees table. Now what would happen if I add a union to those two select statements? With just union by itself, union doesn't allow duplicates. Sheldon Plankton is only within our list once. With union all, you would include duplicates. Now Sheldon Plankton is in this list twice. So use whatever is more fitting for your situation. I'm gonna go ahead and delete Plankton from this table of customers. All right, yeah, so that's a union, everybody. A union combines the results of two or more select statements. In order to do so, those two or more select statements need the same number of columns. But yeah, that is the union operator in MySQL.